This is the place, young master. Welcome to the placeholder. Can I get you something? Uh, hello. Well met. We would like to speak with the esteemed owner of this fine establishment. You're weird. Mister, why does your friend speak like a weirdo? Mm. Gods, Griffith. You just can't reel it in, can you? I'm sorry. We don't want anything. Thanks. Can we speak with the owner? Sure. What do you need? Wait, wait. I think I'm the owner. As in, the guy who owns this place? Yep. And that's you? Yep. But you're like, what, 12? Yep. All right, Griffith. You win. Lend me a hand here. You're the owner, then. Are you guys slow or something? What about that menacing gentleman behind the counter? Him? That's my dad. He works here. And? And Co owns the place, I guess. Aha! Thank you. That's what we want. Huh, weirdos. Greetings. <coughs> Are you the owner? <coughs> I am Kay of House Lauren. I wanted to... <coughs> well, uh, be rebuilding. Uh, <coughs> so, uh, the weather's not... <coughs> Come on, give me something to work. <coughs> Uh, oh, for the I own answer, you know. What? Baz never speaks. What do you mean he never speaks? Mm, don't know. I haven't ever heard him. How does he manage to run a tavern? That girl over there, Rilke, his daughter. I noticed he's a little intense. Yeah, uh, that's Baz, staring the crap out of people. And you are? Shichirochi. Or just Shichi. I used to- Which war? Does it really matter? Well, we're veterans, good sirs. Spending our retirement running an inn. Are you also an owner? Eh, uh, no. I like to think of myself- So, you're a bum. Hey, some of us quit the war with dignity. Me, also gonorrhea. I see. I take it that the inn doesn't get many visitors. Nope. Supposedly, once upon a time, these crossroads were an oft-traveled trip. That castle over yonder, heart of a scow. I'm Kay of House Lauren. A scalia once belonged- oh, Yeah, indeed. More or less, yes. <laughs> hear that, Buzz? We got a king over here. There's- <laughs> Well, that's nice and all, but I'm afraid you'll be having- How so? It's because of the beast! They're afraid of- What manner of beast are you talking about, young lady? They say it's got three heads, and its eyes are like fire, and it shoots acid out of its rear? Truth be told, uh, no one knows. Hmm. But it's true. Something stalks the woods, cutting down. I've heard that even elves steer clear. Yet nobody has ever actually seen this beast. Nope. Sounds like a myth, no? Indeed. Yeah, well, myth or not, it scares people. Besides, you're the top dog around here now, laddie. If anybody should be worried about this, it's you. Hmm. Will you be slaying the beast, good sirs? Indeed we will. If it truly exists, we shall wrestle- What? Oh, it's so exciting! Can you drop by later and tell us how it went, right, Papa? <laughs> On my honor. Well then, good luck, laddie. Hap now wait a minute.
Oh, great. So what exactly are we doing here, Griffith? Looking for the beast. And why are we doing this? To end its reign of terror and bring peace. And what are our chances of the supposed be- Well, since we are in fact chatting casually in the middle of a seemingly lifeless forest, given the laws of narrative- It happens now! Get ready, young master! What the hell? That our beast, Griffith? No, there's no way. You were saying? On second thought. The time is now. Right at you! At your side. For great justice! Victory for House Lauren! The fabled beast appears to have slowed down. She doesn't look like a bandit, or a beast for that matter. Why would she be t I do not think we can expect civil reasoning from- I would suggest caution in your attempts to communicate. You win. You speak. There are no words between predator and prey, yes? In defeat, our roles are reversed. If words are shared, it shall- What? Are you the beast that stalks Rashtil? Rashtil? Such a name is unknown to me. You speak of names, of names that impose boundaries, but these are not mine. I understood nothing. Neither did I. Hacks, tribes, kin, rights. The Kelraway, 
our way. I guess that explains the outburst. Sort of. There is strength in such bonds, as in all bonds born out of respect. We I still cannot make heads or tails of what you're saying. <sighs> the beast choose, but it is a process, not an act. Something to claw and strive. So unless I'm getting utterly confounded here. Yes. And this search brought you here. Just so. I have never heard about this tribe of yours, these- The turtle and the eagle both share a sky. Huh? It is a color unknown to your kind, much as yours is un- Is she really the same girl who just tried to rip our throats out? But anyway, what does all of this mean? I am sorry, but I can't allow you to run around the woods anymore. I am a lord of sorts of these lands, and I could really- You aren't helping, you know. You need to leave. Then we are at odds. But as the victor, you are within rights to request so. If that is your will. What would happen if you were to abandon your right and go back home? My siblings would devour me whole. Uh, figuratively speaking? <laughs> no. Young master? I know what you're about to ask me, Griffith, and I'm not sure I'll like it. Come now, we all follow our oaths. Well, we're in the middle of something ourselves, remember? You're asking me to put her own- No, I am asking you to be the man your father thought you would- Which is? The better man. <sighs> Sire. Damn you, Griffith. What if we made a deal? The predator does not barter with prey. He does not want you to be his prey. Your lion speaks, yet confuses. Elaborate. Lion? Come with us. We'll give you shelter and resources, and hopefully, it'll help you find your beast. A cage of wood and stone yields no answers. That may be so, but you won't have to stay in one. As a member of my retinue, I expect people to honor your special outdoor privileges. And, uh, small emphasis on small. No doubt you would price this favor in my strength, yes? What for? You heard it yourself. We need all the hands we can get to rebuild. I'm sure Master K would be very pleased with such a capable- I see. Then the boon is granted, and so I will join your pack. I shall follow the duckling and the lion so that together we may- f Duckling? Really? Why do I get a duckling? I have absolutely no idea. Now, uh, the girls. I have a feeling this will take a long, long- May your totem guide you.
on the prowl. Not yet! On the prowl. <laughs> Ancestors, hear me roar! Everyone stay cool. This is a robbery. A victim! <laughs> Everyone stay cool. This is a robbery. Here we go. At your side. I will destroy you. Leave this to me. That went better than expected. We move now, yes? <laughs> the hunt continues, yes? Yeah. Oh, victim! Let us strike. For great justice! Yes, yes.
Huh? Uh, another miss. Lick clean. Badram, why can't a man make a decent profit anymore? Not that I'm complaining. Maybe the castle would be more fruitful. Hello. Eh? Oh! <laughs> uh, hello! <clears throat> hello! Uh, mighty fine weather for a stroll. Am I right? Yep. Are you here for a walk, too? Ah, uh, no. Not precisely. I am on a walk, yes. But it is a different kind of walk. A gilded walk of spreading joy and awe to all whom I may encounter. I am Haksun ibn al Andoraz, purveyor of goods most wondrous. One oh, then you must have come to see my brother. I'm afraid uh, your meaning eludes me. But if you pardon me asking, what is a nice young lady- I live here. Uh, you live here? Uh I know. I'm sorry about the mess, but it's a recent thing. My brother just became the lord of that castle. See? Over there! Oh. Is that so? <laughs> well, well. Thing Perhaps there is good money to be made. This is a most fortuitous development. I would be delighted to exchange goods with your brother. That is... Uh... But of course! I'm sure he'll be overjoyed to have you. Ah, splendid! Well then, all that remains is a handshake to cement our joyous agreement. Am I right? Shall we? <laughs> Hello, esteemed customer.
<laughs> oh, joy. Huh? No. <sighs> Here, your tasks will be. What can I get you? Work, work, work! Hey there! Sure. What can I get you? Yes, sir! Hmm. Uh. 
Huh? No. What does a king want with a drunk like me is beyond me. <laughs> Dude, really? <sighs> Figures. Yeah, we. I don't. The duckling approaches. Just so. Hey. These settlements of stone and wood are confusing. Comfort is good, but it dulls senses. Hi. <sighs> <sighs> A rare kindness. 
The ancestors are with us! Hello, young master. Splendid! Splendid! Great! Ah! Hello, esteemed customer.